Hi all, uh, I wanted to show you quickly how you can use Bitto to generate test data. One of the things which is fairly common whenever you create an application which you know has a database or some sort of data store wherein you know you store a particular type of data, maybe objects, tables or what you have and you you know for testing you'd love to create some test data. So let me start with a simple SQL file out here and just show you what the SQL file contains. Inventory.sql out here, you know, it's creating a database with three different tables, right? I won't go through the details, but you can see uh, the three tables here. And I would love to create a test data set so that I can, you know, source it into my database and start testing. So to do that, I need to give a prompt to Bitto. Uh, so I'll create a test data prompt, uh, which I've already created out here, which has a simple statement, generate a SQL file containing test 10 test records for each table in the DB provided. Okay, very simple. Now, let me actually run this prompt with this database as the input. I can say bitto minus p test data prompt minus f and I can give inventory.sql as the input. Now note that, you know, I created this test data. How do you keep on generating, you know, new test data? I can simply run this same command again or increase the number of records. And, you know, it will basically try to regenerate new type of data. So you can select whichever ones you like um, and then, you know, use it for testing. So very quickly uh, using, you know, the table design or, you know, data structure, you can create test data that you can really use with Bitto. And you can also run this command as, like, you know, instead of providing, like, the SQL file as minus F, I can also do cat and then type it to Bitto with the prompt testdf.txt. There you go. You know, pretty easy to quickly create test data. Thanks.